Hey what's up guys I'm Avinash Ratnaji and in today's video I'm going to tell you what is stock market so without any further ado let's get started You keep your money in saving banks account and banks give you some interest for it every year have you ever imagined from where the banks earn this extra interest amount or else if you invest your money in fixed deposits life insurances or mutual funds and in return they pay you some extra money so from where does this extra money come the answer is stock market all your money is invested in stock market and when they earn some interest they give a part of it to you as per their plans stock market or share market both mean the same now the main thing is what is stock market let us first understand what is a stock or a share so if tata motors wants to grow its company but it does not have enough money this is just an example so if ratan tata who is the owner of the company he will decide that now as i am 100% owner of the company and i have some money but that is not enough for my next plans so now i will sell the 40% stake of the ownership to others and get money from others in exchange for my future plans in the company and whatever the profit or loss i will keep the 60% and others who have invested will get 40% So imagine if Tata Motors is worth rupees hundred lakh. If the company is divided into sixty is to forty, then Ratan Tata will hold shares or stocks of rupees sixty lakh, and others will hold shares of rupees forty lakh. Now others can be one, two, or even forty lakh people. Everyone having one rupees share in Tata Motors. It is not fixed that you can sell only forty percent of shares. you can sell 50 60 70 or even 100% depends upon the company owner now the question is where can you sell or buy the company shares they cannot be sold in normal market so there is a separate market called stock exchanges in every country every country has its own stock exchange india has two main stock exchanges bse bombay stock exchange and nse national stock exchange Your companies can apply for IPO initial public offering and sell the company stocks which will allow people to buy their stocks you can buy or sell stocks in NSC and BSC here you will also come across two terms sensex and nifty nifty sensex remain lower with banks leading the fall as go- both are benchmark indices our markets are stock markets trading firmly in the red The Sensex trading below the crucial 31,000 mark. The Nifty trading below 9,000 mark now. Nifty पर नजर डालिए. 5.8 प्रतिशत की तेजी. Sensex पर नजर डालिए. 1628 point ऊपर. Wall Street Sensex ends above 41,000 for the first time ever. Nifty and Nifty Bank indices also end at record highs. So Sensex is the average index of top 30 companies listed in Bombay Stock Exchange. and nifty is the average index of top 50 companies listed in national stock exchange there is also another exchange called mcx multi commodity exchange where you can trade for commodities like gold silver copper crude oil and many more but who sets the rule for all this process who will investigate or help if there is any problem who decides which company should be listed or not in the stock exchange sebi securities and exchange board of india It is the regulator owned by the government of India who will look after all this process or set the rules or help to solve anyone's problem. Now what is the procedure to buy the stocks? For buying the stocks you need to have three accounts. First is savings account, second is the trading account and third is the demat account. Savings account is where you will have your cash flow in and out. Trading account is used for buying or selling the stocks that is for trading the shares. You will need a proof that you have bought the stocks of the XYZ company and you own these many shares in that company. So where is the proof? This proof that you have bought or sold the shares is stored in your demat account. Now why the name demat? Everything you buy or sell here is considered as a material. You buy or sell stocks, so the stock is a material. Earlier company used to have their shares in the physical format. There were bond papers which had their ownership and owner details so it was in physical format it took several days to deliver the shares through post but now as the technology is growing everything is becoming in digital formats so this physical material is converted into dematerialized form 
for online trading so the name dmat account it contains all the details about how many shares you own and in which company this share or stock holding is also called as equity holding there are many banks which offer this 3 in 1 accounts like hdfc icici and many others or you can open them through other brokers like zeroda angel broking or any other brokers there are 250 plus registered brokers in india you will not personally go to national stock exchange or bombay stock exchange to open your account so you can apply from your home through any brokerage they will charge a small brokerage fees as we all know every broker in india will not do any work without some commission now when you have all these three accounts you can buy or sell the stocks you should not blindly invest in companies you should always see the management of the company last 5 to 10 years earnings balance sheet profit and loss statements and see if there is any chance for the company to grow in the future there is more risk in investing in stock market compared to fixed deposits mutual funds and others but as there is more risk the profit earned is also more If you invest for long term in good companies by doing proper analysis of them you can earn good profits it completely depends upon the market if it goes up or down so i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new so please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching guys peace